Hello everyone and welcome to another Epic Centrum daily market analysis. Uh, for today, I will go through our cross asset list, our liquid cross asset list. So we'll cover coffee market, WTI, US 100, US 30, a gold market, USDN, dollar, um, and dollar Mexican peso, pound dollar, Australian dollar, euro dollar, dollar index, Bitcoin, aluminium, and cocoa market. I will start with the coffee market first. And of course, I will use our Epic Centrum uh, charting software for this analysis. And uh, let's begin with the coffee market. So this is the daily time frame, as you can see here. D1 represents the daily time frame, and we have potential breakout this tight consolidation. Uh, this can also the oscillator stochastic is into the pretty much extended downside environment, and there was a fresh bull cross on the. Stochastic. So there is a good chance for a price to rotate back towards 238.70 and then eventually to rotate 244.26. Let's take a look at the hourly time frame. We can see also the break on the hourly time frame. So there is a chance for the upside continuation today on the coffee market. The next market that I want to cover is WTI. We can see that market is building higher. So here on the daily time frame, we can see that there was an extension. Market was in a downside environment, uh, traded alongside a lower Bollinger Band, but now there is a rotation back and to more like a reversion to the mean base in this extension on the daily time frame. You can see here also the hourly time frame at a break of the supply trend line. So let me just place this supply trend line, and you can see the clear breakout supply trend line and the upper Bollinger Band. So buyers in control. And I see the chance for rotation back to maybe 78.24 or even 79.40 mark. On the US 100, we can see that there was a like um, a buying tail yesterday, more like a bull divergence on the rate rate, rate of change on every side. And this is a chance for the market to trade higher, at least towards the 18,246. And then there is a potential chance for the market to trade towards 19,516. So again, because the market went pretty much extended to the downside, so this rotation to the upside is pretty likely to happen. We can already see that buyers are working on that. You can see here, we still didn't break upper Bollinger Band, but if, from my perspective, if we can break upper Bollinger Band and hold above, then there is a chance for that higher price. On the US 30 market is uh, holding pretty well. This was like a bull flag on a daily time frame, like a couple of days ago, and market is now breaking this multi-day balance. So also the next pivot level is at, uh, I'll say, 1,304, and then this previous swing high. On a gold market, for example, what we can see is the buyers are in control. There was a breakout of the uh, three-day balance. And seems like this pin bar high might be in the play today. So 24.32 mark can be in the play. Hourly time frame, we can see mark is holding higher, building higher lows and higher highs. So this is a good sign that uh, we have the relative strength on the gold market. USDN had a quite a big move. Arlie's really had a so yesterday we spoke about this potential upside moment, but then we have the news and so so the market broke this 154, which was the key support. And after that, there was just one rejection, pin bar tail, and market is now in a strong selling environment. And we can see that there is a actually the next potential level uh was all the way down at 147 mark 147 40 1740 mark so strong selling pressure and no sign of no sign of reversal we also had the news in the in japan so uh, this is definitely uh one of the reasons behind this uh large high volatility on this uh currency pair then we have a dollar mexican peso seems like it's holding higher it was a retest almost of our 19 mark this is a previous swing high so this market is in a bullish environment in the last 10 days and buyers are in control so from my perspective uh, there is a still chance for higher prices on the british pound versus us dollar what we can see here is still this is my favorite market i spoke about this uh, last week and this week i still see potential for the bigger drop on the pound dollar i see this uh, environment that happened like uh, two weeks ago that is basically um, um, a pretty much like a reversal or basically trap for buyers. And there is a chance for lower prices towards 1.2700, 1.2620. I think it's just a question of time when we can see that short-term drop. 
So so far, uh, look, so far looking so good. So on the Australian dollar, US dollar, uh, we have the one time frame trading lower since this fake breakout of this consolidation. This was a big track for buyers, similar to the pound, just the Australian dollar already had a big announcement and stuff. And there was a break of the multi-day balance. So the next downside pivot is all the way down at 063390 mark. So that will be the next downside objective based on the daily time frame. So pretty much an extended environment to the downside. On the euro dollar, there was a support at 1.0800, key short term support and the lower ball in Japan now marked as trading inside the previous day range, so more like a sideways. But eventual rebreak of 1.0800 can be a good sign for the, for the drop there at 1.0740. On the dollar index, uh, we can see that we have this downside move, more like a bear flag, but still I will say the support at 104 is key here to observe. If we can see the reaction back up, then we can have still consolidation going on. If we see the clear break below 104, then there is a chance for 10360 to be on the test. On the Bitcoin dollar, uh, we had like a free pushes up of bearish divergences on stochastic oscillator. And if we can see the rebreak of 65,200, there will be a chance for further drop. And I will. If we see that, I will post a separate idea, trade idea for this market. So watching that level, and then we can see potential drop. Aluminium uh, is trading pretty much went all the way down to our downside objective since this initial breakout like two weeks ago. And now we can see the reaction up. So seems like Mark is trying to react to take some breath here. On the early time frame, it seems like it's just trading around upper Bollinger Band. So there is a chance for some rotation back up, maybe to the middle Bollinger Band or so. And on the cocoa market, we have still consolidation for more than 20 days. So we'll see key resistance is this horizontal line here, and support is this line here. So uh, you can place those levels and then observe if we can see the breakout and give you a good directional move if we can see the break and sustained breakout of either resistance or support. And it will be all for this daily FX Central Market Analysis. Of course, stay tuned for more videos and trade ideas and have a good trading day.